So we're being asked to find the domain and range of the following relation. Remember, a relation is just a set of ordered pairs. And we're also being asked if this relation is actually a function. OK, so solution. So the domain is the set of first components in a relation. So it's the set. And we're just looking at the first components. So 1, 3, 5, 1. Oh, wait, we already said 1. So you only have to write the 1 once. So that's the domain. To find the range, recall that the range is the set of the second components. So it's the set containing 2, 4, 6, and 0. So that is the range of the relation. So again, to find the domain, you just take the first components, 1, 3, 5. Oh, you already included 1, so you only have to write it once. To find the range, you take the second components, 2, 4, 6, 0. Now, is r a function? Now we will answer this question. Well, a function is a special type of relation in which each element in the domain, 1, 3, 5, and 1, correspond to exactly one element in the range. So in this case, you see we have a 1 here, and we have a 1 here. That could be a problem, is it? Let's see, 1 goes to 2, oh, but 1 also goes to 0. So the answer is no. Again, it's because of 1, 2, and 1, 0. That's no good, because again, 1 gets sent to 2, and 1 gets sent to 0. So that can't happen, right? That makes no sense. It is not a function.